Now, last week there was a premiere of a Mahler song cycle in Nottingham. It was staged by Streetwise Opera and it opened to a packed house and rave reviews. But the people on stage weren't your average opera performers. They were from the streets of Nottingham and many of them didn't have homes to go to after the curtain fell. This is all part of an ambitious project to help get the homeless back on their feet. But can opera, one of the most notoriously elite art forms, really give the homeless a fresh start? Zina Sarawiwa reports. Low life and high art. These songs of loss and loneliness composed by Gustav Mahler in the 19th century echo the real life struggles of the homeless people performing them. I spent my 18th birthday in prison. Um, my life at that point was probably at the lowest it's ever been. It was just hard to try and fit back into society at the time through being labelled. I was fleeing domestic violence from my ex-partner. Um, I ended up in hospital with um, a fractured skull from where he jumped on my head. Um, I rang Women's Aid up and they, um, the only place they had a space and refuge was in Nottingham, so they brought me here. I had a nasty stepdad that liked to drink a lot, that liked to fight. I thought, no, that's not, this isn't how life is. It's supposed to be like being in a caring family, but i never seen that. I, 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 I never felt the love of a parent before, and still today I haven't, so I don't know what it's like. Now they're taking part in a bold venture devised by Matt Peacock, a music journalist who also works with homeless people. What I saw was, was a, a, a gap here really, which wasn't being filled by any other agency to, to work with, with opera, something that was seen to be at the other end of the social spectrum, something that would give them pride and, and satisfaction. For me, uh, when I thought about it, and it's a kind of strangely the perfect vehicle for this group of people. Streetwise Opera is the world's first opera company with a cast of homeless people. <laughs> to make sure everyone gets the most out of it, Matt drafts in some of the top names from the world of music and theatre. Right, everyone. You remember what we were doing this morning, for those of you that were here, when we were moving to the music, moving in the mood of the music. I want a little bit of that. Streetwise has such ambition with the shows that they want to produce. There's a clear purpose to, to offer a very unusual experience to participants that, that will enable their self-esteem and confidence in their future lives. But at the same time, that will only happen if this is a strictly professional show that doesn't compromise. It's an opera and it's going to be worth every penny when the audience buy tickets. After months of workshops in Nottingham, around 20 people volunteer for two weeks of intensive daily rehearsals. The biggest thing that's tricky is that you have no idea who's going to turn up from day to day. We're going to try and wait. I might give up in a minute because I'm going to lose patience, but we're just waiting, everyone, because Jackie and Anthony are on their way. They're in a small amount of trouble. You are in such trouble. Sit down and listen to the song. We'll talk about it in a minute. You just have no idea whether it's going to work, whether people are going to walk out, whether people are going to respond to the material, be kind to each other, whether there's going to be a fight. There's this sort of constant sense of risk. It's up to the pros to carry the heaviest solo roles. Like Anna came over from Austria, she flew in from Austria, straight off the plane, straight to the YMCA to the rehearsals with us, and I thought, is this a lot bigger than, than it should be or what? Because the determination from them, I think, has rubbed off on us, and we're thinking, well, had they not been there, I don't think we would have been as confident. When midnight came, all feeble strength into your hands I yielded. Lord! It's great, it is. I never thought I'd actually do anything like this. When midnight came, no 
spark of light from heaven could be. I mean, it even made like us that aren't definitely not professional feel like we were. Beaten with pain, my heart with grief was swollen and overflown with all the world's sorrow. When midnight came. It's over to the ballroom of Nottingham's Council House for dress rehearsals. Even I turn my eyes away, as if caught in the act. I can bear to watch them grow in. Do not try to my songs. I've been looking forward to coming in every day. Like I says, it's just like a big friendly family. I wasn't one for like, I don't like crowded places and that lot, but like this is sort of slowly bringing it out in me and I. I'm starting to accept being in groups of people and that lot, so yeah, it definitely does a difference. It, it has given me a lot more confidence, but it's also made me feel if, if I can achieve this with Streetwise, then surely you can take on anything else. Even before the first night, Matt's thinking about what will happen when it's all over. It could be very, very damaging to to have this extraordinary experience and to create this family and it's very easy for, for that to dissipate and for, for the performers to feel that they've kind of been let down. So what we do is we carry on the workshops every single week. We immediately work towards a new piece that will probably perform in uh, Christmas. For one Streetwise graduate, the experience has proved life-changing. Through Streetwise Opera I managed to get some, uh, some work at the Royal Albert Hall, work placement. It's like setting up the stage for concerts, getting the instruments on the stage, that sort of thing. For the cast in Nottingham, it's opening night, the first of three public performances. When I first arrived here, I did feel like an outsider, but I've got to know more people. And um, obviously the people that I've known for a while, I've got closer to them while doing this. I hope we put on a fantastic show that breaks the mould between professionalism and, and working with amateurs. So it's going to be packed in there and I think, um, I think quite nerve-wracking for everybody actually. I just want to go on there with a blank mind, <laughs> apart from my words obviously. when we were still in it, but we managed to just stay strong as a team, get through it. And just finishing, like I say, for them to make us come back on again, and we wasn't expecting that, normally we would have just gone and stayed straight off, but they wanted us to come back on. And they really know that they appreciated what we had to give today, and we all did give it our all. Zina Sarawiwa reporting, and Streetwise will be at the Sage Gateshead with a new opera next year. Details about that and all of tonight's stories are on our website.